Hello YouTube. Okay, so I'm back with another video. Um, what this one's about is uh, I'm trying to get the MP3 uh, device, my iPod, working with my Commodore 64. Um, I've sprayed it black. I've done quite a good job really. Can't really see many blemishes. It looks alright. Um, and what it was is, although it's the Breadbin Commodore 64, um, I had to, I'll just quickly show you, I um, inside it's not, it's the, it's the Commodore 64C version, it's the newer version of the motherboard, it's a bit rubbish really because it doesn't say anywhere on it Commodore anymore, well, I can't see it anyway. Yeah, I had to mess about a little bit to get the this in. I'll just quickly show you. Get that in place. I had to extend the light. Um, and what I've done is, I want to try and put this. This is inside of the data cassette. I want to put this somewhere like up there, hidden away and then solder the points to the points there if you like if you know what I mean so basically instead of having the cassette connected up to here um, it wouldn't be but the problem I've got is I cannot find the points for the mic in if you like the mic in and the ground so oh, this is one I've got of the tape recorder and then this is another one I've got. Now there is a video on YouTube, uh, I forget his name, but he's um, he's done this mod and he's sold it to some of the points but I, well, I just can't seem to make out the exact same points he's sold it to. Um, I don't really want to use this one because this one's boxed and it's really good condition. So I'd rather use this old tatty one. And if you're wondering why the Commodore 64 is black, it was beyond retro brighting. It was so, it was so um, yellow, if you like, that over here you could actually see the struts where the the circles, where the um, the screw, the bottom of the case was. It was that yellow. You could see right through it. It was like a skeleton case. So, again, took it outside. Give it a quick spray and that's where we're at. I put the keyboard in from the 64C, the white keyboard instead of the brown one. And that's the reason for it being white and not brown, the keys. But yeah, so if anyone knows or anyone can help me, um, tell me where the points are on here that I need to solder to to get the mic in the ground, that'd be great. Or failing that, I don't really want to use this one, but if anyone can tell me where the points are on this one that would be fantastic anyway thanks for watching